Okay, the idea behind this one is to get a grip of discs from one pin to another and the least amount of moves as possible. Okay, you can see the last two pins here, we've got the disc over here. The rules are fairly simple, move one disc at a time and not a large one on top of a smaller one. Let's see how we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. It's as easy as that. Okay, catch you later. <laughs> and Jess, so I used to work in the science centre, so I've done that many a time. Okay, this one has a piece of rope next to a pulley. As you can see, there's a little piece of rope. That's happens when we turn the pulley off. It demonstrates the parabolic arc of any object in free fall. Water, pushed up like that would do much the same thing. Then we have what's called the air cannon. Let's have a look. Got the air cannon here. And when it's fired, you can see where it hits on the, on the target. Okay, let's try this again. Let's see what my aim is. Oh, that's pretty close. Try that there. Pretty much a bullseye. Excellent. Lots of fun too. Fling the ring. So shall we fling a ring? <laughs> okay, down there you can see the red ring. If I push the button, electricity will go run through the um, the coil here of wires, cause an electromagnetic electromagnetic pulse, which will move the ring or shoot the ring up there. And then down there. That's a bit quick. <laughs> okay, you can see the ring here. Let's watch it go. Not sure if you can see that easily, but uh, yes. <laughs> this looks suspiciously like a tornado tube. Let's see if it works. <laughs> These things work much better uh, if there's no uh, air conditioning. Basically what's happening is that it's, it's producing mist down here. Okay. And as I stand up there, drawing air up. Or trying to. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. No, yes, no. There we go. There we go, we've got, we got, we got a vortex tornado happening. Oh no, it stopped! Oh, okay, you've heard of snail mail, which is regular letters, you've heard of Gmail perhaps, email, and even air mail. Here we see a different version of air mail that you might have seen in some stalls or even in old uh, movie footages. What happens? You should put a message in here in one of these. So let's in one of these. So we put one in here. Now we need an air source. So we just down here and. That's a bit too hard. Maybe I'll try a bit gentler next time. Let's try that again. Ah. Okay, from the other side, put your message in.
Ta-da! <laughs> and we get the message at the other end. Plasma balls. Everyone loves a plasma ball. You get your hand, great huge hand, touch the surface and the lightning bolts will find your hand wherever it is. <laughs> Cool stuff or what? <laughs> Have you ever wondered how electricity is made? Here's a good demonstration. What we have here is a coil with 60 turns. And here we have a bar magnet. If a magnetic field passes through a coil, backs and forwards, it produces a voltage. So let's see what we can do with 60 turns. What's that? That's how fast I'm going. Here we have a similar setup. Once again, a bar magnet. And a coil, but this time, 120 turns. Going just as fast. You can see a significant increase in the voltage. Here we go, here's a demonstration. So instead of the magnets going back and forth like the last exhibition, the magnets go around and produce a voltage. Now you can see there they have needles jumping backwards and forwards. That's basically how uh, AC current works, alternating current. As a north and south poles transposition, the needle goes in different directions. In Australia, this happens 50 times a second. So our electricity, if we, w if we were to watch it being made, would look something like that, <laughs> but much faster. For an optical illusion or a visual illusion, let's check these ones out. I think you should be surprised. Okay, we have here a couple of half discs. That doesn't make much sense. Another one, which also doesn't make much sense. But they go into this area here. So let's put one disc here. One disc here. Does it still make any sense to you? No? It might. If you look here. <laughs> you see yourself a little kitty cat. Okay, here we have um, an optical illusion. This is actually completely flat. But the top appears to have raised areas and the bottom appears to be recessed. Put it around. Now the top appears to have the raised areas and the bottom still seems to have the recessed. How interesting. What about this one? What we see here is what well, appears to be a crater. You see the effect? If I turn this one upside down. It now appears to be a mountain or a mount. 
Quite interesting. <laughs> so, can you see the two sets of figures? Top and bottom, they look the same. The same colour, density, whatnot. If I move to the other way, you see the light and dark backgrounds. All of a sudden, this looks like a white set. This one looks like a black set. Even though they are the same. Quite the optical illusion, that one. Looking down, down, down. <laughs> Okay, as you can see here are some diagonal straight lines. You can quite clearly see that they are straight. Now moving in a perspex. Do they now look as straight as they once did? The optical effect should be that you can see them converging slightly at uh, either end of only two lines. quite interesting. You might like this. <laughs> okay, what we've got here, many of you probably recognise it as an air table. So we've got Devices such as this, and a shape such as this, <laughs> put it under the table, and with just the barest flick of a finger, you watch them skitter across the table. <laughs> See the bounce off the edges. So what's happening here is that there are lots of little, little holes drilled into the table. Air that's coming up out of the top, out of the coming out of the holes, providing cushion of air underneath it, underneath these objects, which allows them a very low friction. So they move very easily just by a minute of the finger. Okay, here we have a table where you can do smoke rings. We have seen smokers um, up in the bay doing this. So I'll show you down here initially. You see a smoke ring flying up. Okay, now they've changed the angle. You've probably seen smoke rings as they go further up. Very colourful. As you can see behind me, I hope, is a thermal image. The camera is just over there, you probably can't see it in this picture. So, let's have a look at me walking past. <laughs> Presumably the, uh, the red images are the hottest parts. So my head, my hands, and so forth. If I warm up the air, if I warm up the wood on this door behind me, it will leave a hand print behind. As you can see the head. It's this embodied hand. <laughs> How cool is that? <laughs>
Good day, night time here. I'm not sure if I've been a victim of a practical joke or a prank, but a couple of Western Australians here in Perth, that's around, invited me and whatnot out for drinks with friends, I guess, for mates. The place was the Last Drop Brewery and Restaurant. Apparently it's 507 Nicholson Road, Canning Vale. So here I am. 505 I think, 503. And there's, I've been a bit further up, I've been back. Been to Last Drop Brewery, 12 kilometers away and back. And there doesn't seem to be anything here remotely resembling. place that looks like this, if you can see it. Okay, I was looking for that uh, white building there, and there's nothing like that around here. So, I tried um, West Aussie, I tried VB, but I couldn't find the place. I'm sorry, I even checked on my phone to make sure I had the right address and number. Nothing. Nada. So I guess I'll see you in two days. See you later. I guess it's not all bad, a uh, bit of a sunset here if you want to have a look. <laughs> I finally found this blast. <laughs> Apparently Nicholson Road, Canning Vale, no less, has two 507 Nicholson rides and guess which one I went to the wrong one <laughs> so having checked my phone uh, the nice smartphone thank you Google I noticed oh these aren't the same side streets that I'm next to let's go to one of those so I did and look what I found when I got here I'm likely looking characters this lot. Don't bother me, I'm trying to subscribe to you. <laughs> He's the one who should have been telling me where to go in no uncertain terms. <laughs> G'day right. guys, it's your old mate again here, VB Ed. Hey, I've got a great one. Yeah. Right now, it's a copper pulls over these these blokes and they pull up. Cop walks up. The bloke winds in and we know and he goes, what you pull me up for? It says, I oh, wasn't doing nothing wrong. He goes, no, you weren't doing nothing wrong. I'm here to let you know that you you'll just have received a good driver award. He goes, he's five thousand dollars. He goes, oh, you fucking beauty, five thousand bucks. He goes, yeah. He goes, what are you gonna do with the money? He says, I'll probably take driving lessons. <laughs> And the other bloke listening goes, oh, don't listen to him, officer, he's fucking drunk. <laughs> and then the bloke behind him says, I knew this was a fucking bad idea when we stole this car. G'day, it's Beryl here, the typical Aussie housewife. Hey, I've got a funny joke for you. Okay, everyone in YouTube, I want you to close your eyes, okay? Close your eyes. Dark, isn't it? <laughs> Yep, we did have a good time. <laughs>